Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be known unto who? God. God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So we are talking about, you know, prayer. And just knowing how we should pray, when we should pray. Is, is it a, just a sometime thing? No. No. Is it just something, you know, when you need something? Is it when you're going through? Uh, yes. Is yes. it when you're going through? Yes. You might want to. Because if you don't, we're going to bring you through it. <laughs> Yourself? No, I'm sorry. No, but it's a, this prayer is just something that we should do daily, saints. It, it keeps us prepared and it keeps us, you know, feeling um, closer to God. Because that's where we want to be. And just keeping that prayer line open. See, because sometimes when you stop doing something, you get out of what? Practice. Just say if you was exercising, you didn't go for months and months. How you going to feel? Oh, sluggish and run down. You ain't got that little pep in your step that you usually have. But if you keep your prayer line open and know that God hears you, then you can keep that little, you know, yes, I know I can make it through the day because he's with me. Before you leave out of the house, when you hit your feet hit the floor, let's give God some glory. Talk to him. Talk to him just like you would your friends or your companion. Amen. Lord, and I know you said nothing today is going to happen that me and you can't handle. No matter what it is, Amen. have a prayer in your heart. And most of all, give God thanksgiving. Amen. That's one of the main things. That's the main thing that I think that we should just continue to give him. Give him thanks and praise him for what he is doing in our lives. Amen. Don't just, you know, when somebody give you a gift, you don't be like, mm, thank you. <laughs> no, you're all excited, excited about it. But that's the same way we need to be excited about Christ. When Jesus is doing something for us in our lives, because we know we don't do anything of ourselves, right? Amen. Who woke you up this morning? Jesus. Wasn't me, I didn't call you. Amen. Jesus, he wakes us up. He should be our daily walk. He should be our daily talk. That should be our daily prayer. It's Lord, that I know that you're with me. You say you'll never leave me nor forsake me. And just pray, you know, that he keeps you. And that's one of the main things for me. You know, uh, I think sometimes we make prayer just kind of difficult, kind of painful. Oh, I just don't really, you know, really don't have time. You know, just like we don't have time for our friends sometimes. I don't want to be bothered. Oh, yeah, you would want to drop down on your knees and give him some glory and say, Lord, I thank you. Amen. But most of all, forgive me for the sin that I may have committed. Amen. So you start talking about your road dog. Amen. Just ask God, you know, praise him for what he's doing already and give him thanks. Lord, I know you're a good God. You're merciful. You understand it. You know, talk to him. But most of all, go to him in secret and pray about whatever's going on. Amen. Because we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Amen. And Paul's perspective on prayer was this. It results as peace and it doesn't take away or alleviate all of the anxieties that we go through. You know, prayer kind of calms that down when we're going through things. You know, just think about it. Just pray and ask God to, you know, Lord, take this away. And, you know, prayer wasn't designed to keep us all worried about it. It was there so that we can have peace about whatever we're praying about. Amen. So, I, you know, like I said, I'm not going to stand here and just keep saying it. Just pray. And just believe whatever you're praying for, that God will bring it to pass. It may not happen today. It may not happen next week. It may not happen this year. But just stand on it and believe that God said that he would do it. But you got to believe it. You can't be wavering. Today you all excited in the morning. Mm, I'm right back where I'm going. Mm. No. Let's keep that excitement about it and believe that, you know, he, he won't put no more on us than we can bear. Amen. And prayer helps, I mean, lighten that load. So, and y'all continue to pray for me, okay? Love you. Amen. Amen. Amen.